Um, at this point, are there any questions you have? Any areas we could focus on? Or if I um, if I'm going to be healthy, yeah. maybe that's something. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just good to keep in mind. You're going to deal with a little bit of a stomach issue, and it's kind of funny the way this comes across. So, um, oh geez. All right, got that, that, stomach, stomach. Well, I have stomach problems. Yes. That's the yes. only problem I have. That's the only one. Isn't um, that wild? But there are two. I'm leaving. This is crazy. <laughs> yes, your stomach. I have stomach problems. Really good to keep in mind. So they one, always want me to check it out. I, don't, I never get it checked out. I believe it. Well, the thing is, is you have a susceptibility to um, actually when it comes to processing intestinally, you do have an area of inflammation that looks kind of similar to like what I've seen in people with Crohn's or IBS. My mother has Crohn's. Yeah. I'm leaving. I know. So this it's- This is crazy. Yeah, so you might have Crohn's. I would just check and run up by a doctor. Not only will you notice like acid reflux and heartburn, but you'll notice like lower, yeah. you know, some, some funkiness. So get checked for Crohn's. Okay. But other than that, all Crazy. <laughs> this is so cool. What about family and future? Family? Okay. We can do that, for sure. Okay, so, um, I do want to talk to you about kids. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting, and it's a really good thing. Um, ultimately, I see you being a father for a little boy. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you that you will be like a father figure for a little boy in your lifetime. I can absolutely guarantee you it. Of anything that I've said, that I know for a fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Primarily, I'm only really referencing to one boy at the moment. Doesn't yeah. mean that there won't be more, but that's really kind of what's popping in strongly. We're so convinced that we're having a girl. <laughs> um, how many kids would you like to have? What's the goal? Uh, five or six. Cool. Nice. Yeah. I like that. That's what I wanted at first. He was like, yeah, one or two. And I was like, I need like six or seven. <laughs> I really, truthfully, see plenty of opportunities yeah. in the event that you choose. I'm very focused in the future of building an incredible family, and I think kind of connecting it all all the way to uh, having a boy, you know? Uh, look forward to seeing that become a reality. So I, I think there was an essence of family there. It was really cool. Thank you so much yeah, for appreciate the opportunity. It, I appreciate, appreciate it. It's it. been amazing. Yeah, I'll let you know about that uh, yeah. thing I can't talk about on camera. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I really want to keep this in mind. Um, I have to talk about health, and it's kind of health with family. For the men in your family, it's really good to just take into consideration that blood pressure is going to be something that we really have to keep in mind. Now, heart issues, they happen to men. It's not uncommon, but the thing is, is that, uh, let me see what that is. I don't, I don't even know where to start. When it comes to like a family and a gene perspective, it's possible that within your family, there might be multiple men who end up at a later age dealing with blood pressure issues, but also deal with either a heart murmur or a heart arrhythmia. But I feel like I have to kind of go to heart and this kind of correlates with blood pressure. So just kind of keep that in mind. I have a couple people who've, you know, kind of came through and acknowledged passing in a bit of a similar sense. And it's almost saying like, keep in mind your own heart because there's a man who was very stubborn who passed away and he acknowledges dying as a result of this heart problem. His message is, don't be stubborn like I was. Mm. And the feeling is like, this is a strong guy, he's great, he's lovely, but he was really frustrated at the fact that he neglected this because this is something that could have been treatable had we just known about it. I'm not wanting to go. And there's just a feeling of like, don't let, <laughs> don't let you be me, basically, <laughs> in the way this comes across. It's like, keep this in mind, be proactive in your health, do what I didn't, is kind of the message, so. No history of heart disease sure. uh, in the family. Sure. Uh, with the exception of my sister, mm -hmm. uh, had a heart issue, had open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. Delighted uh, that she's fine now. Great. But uh, can't get much more serious than that. Sure. Uh, just not a genetic line that we've known. Right. Interesting. Okay. That is unbelievable. You said the heart. Right. And how that came through. And we talked about it. Right. Let me see. Okay. So I've been trying to kind of figure out whether to say this, <laughs> but they're bringing me to baby stuff. That's really hot in here. The bringing this energy forward as something to keep in mind. In your life, one of your big purposes is going to be to be a mother figure for a child. That's something to keep in mind that without a doubt, I know. The thing is, is how we get there, it seems a little complicated. We're gonna go through some hurdles to get there is the way I would describe it. Mm. 
it's nothing to worry about. But if there are alternative forms of fertility that have to be done, or if it takes a little while, or if there's something unique with a pregnancy, just be very conscientious in the event that that is something you do. Because of my age, I'm 35. You know, it's always a question of like, should I wait? Should I do it now? You know what I mean? Like, it's literally the topic that I think of waking up, and it's the it's the topic that I think of when I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Is this worth it? it you is. know? Absolutely. Okay. And you can do it together, and there's yeah. ways it can be done together. And it's a strain that it isn't always going to be there. I think yeah. you two, location-wise, that'll work out ultimately. Yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, no rush on that one. Yeah, tell, tell that to my husband. Yes, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a unique just, stress that yeah. successful women have exactly. of having to navigate the professional responsibilities and then some of the societal yeah. and familial expectations. And mm -hmm. I, I, I give it to you. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, a lot. it's yeah. incredible. Any woman in any career can, and can relate because they're juggling so many things at once. Yeah. If you're having doubts, I think doubts are normal. It's normal to feel discomfort. I think when you know what you're meant to do, life kind of finds a way to open up yeah. those doors to let you do it. And yeah. It just needed that kind of kick in the ass perspective of like, huh, I feel so sorry for myself. And instead of that, it really is just be grateful. Like it's only gonna get better, you know? The universe has clearly set this up to happen for See? I think I just needed a good talk. I know, right? Well, we got it. We worked it out. Any questions? What about love life? Love life? Oh, just no. really quick. I'm sorry. I think really in, in, in yeah. Let me look. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> look, you said yeah. Uh, okay. There's a situation with uh, some, someone tries to get with one sister. Okay. <laughs> someone oh tries to get with one sister and then tries to get with the other. Um, what is happening? Oh my God, does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, like, Actually, kind mm -hmm. of. You do. Yeah. You do. I kind of do. You do. What about that situation? I don't like that situation. That person, I, I'm not... We'll just I think we're on the same page. Yeah. Okay. As long as it makes sense to you. I'm mm -hmm. lucky. But yeah, it's all the matter. <laughs> That's good. Um, also good to keep in mind. It basically, there's a situation with an individual from the past that we've been romantically involved with, and I basically see this individual kind of going in and out. And to me, that generally indicates that this person's kind of in our lives and then kind of out of our lives and kind of in our lives and kind of out of our lives. Mm -hmm. The feeling is basically that we want to really set healthy boundaries and say, you no, know, nope, you can't kind of dip your toes in and leave when you want and can't really commit <laughs> yeah. the way this comes across. It's like, I still want to be part of your life, but I can't commit to the things that you really want me to do. It's like a I really... I know what you're talking about. And it's still, and what, what's weird though is like right now it would be platonic. It's not a romantic thing right yeah. now. It, mm -hmm. But the feeling is like, it's still not a healthy reminder to have yeah. instability in that dynamic. So the feeling is like really set the terms with this individual. Keep yeah, I think that's from like my childhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other questions regarding my career, yes. Yeah. What's gonna happen with my career at 46? <laughs> oh, please, it's amazing. Do I have more to do or can I finally retire? <laughs> I don't see retirement in your future. That'd be amazing, but I think there's always gonna be something. <laughs> There'll always be something. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. The way that I would describe this is there's just some reference to either like a documentary or something documentary based. This is coming through as something that is like a documentary, it focuses on the past. Wow, I have a full group in Barranquilla right now shooting a documentary about where she went to school, where she went to the house, giving them a tour around the town. And the other thing that popped in was having an opportunity to voice an animated film. I'm seeing like animated keeps coming through. I would actually encourage it because it feels like good money. It's never good, good money. money. No. <laughs> I'll do it. I like it. Okay. I like it. I feel like it would be a good offer because it feels like a big thing, like okay. a huge project. So. Maybe because I'm producing it. Oh, there you go. That, could be, there you okay. go. that works. Um, and then it is good to keep in mind, as funny as you are, I actually am seeing references to some drama, like drama stuff, dramatic roles, like more of the drama based stuff. Well, according to Tyler, I'm not going to be retiring anytime soon. I'm 46, so I don't know what more I have to do. So we'll see. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. I know this is random, um, and before we start, and before I even bring anyone through, when I'm connecting your energy, I'm seeing boxes. And when I see boxes, that generally indicates that someone has a susceptibility to like a residential shift or a move. Wow. <laughs> The thinking that's coming kind of through with this is it's basically commuting between two places. And the feeling is like oh thumbs up, this is a good decision. Oh my 
Goodness. Yeah, where does that fit? You're so dead on. Yes, <laughs> well, it's, it's a good thing. There is a big move nice. going on. Right. And I will be by Coastal. Right now, there's boxes in yes. my house. <laughs> Act. Right. I'm not lying. I'm not kidding you. Wow. There's big. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing. Yes. You're headed in the right great, direction. But yes. You're awesome. Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> Everyone knows I live on the East Coast, but I'm moving to Los Angeles. So when he said that I see you transferring back and forth from one, the only people who know that is my immediates. No one would have known that, you know? I kind of often struggle with should I, should I not? But Tyler made me come easy with it. Like I'm now I'm like, this is the right decision. So we can jump into your personal life if you'd like. We can kind of go all over. Tell me about my future. All right. This is really, really good. Okay, that, that, that. What do we got? <laughs> I have to talk to you about your career really quickly because I have to talk about having an opportunity to align yourself with a rapper. I wouldn't encourage you to get into rap so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see rap as much as I see rap influences from you know people who kind of are more on that level. Tyler was saying I shouldn't rap and. He was definitely right about that. There was definitely a connection that he was right about. I should not rap. Do you have anyone in the medical field in your family? Yeah. Okay. Do you know of anyone in the medical field? Uh, corrective. Corrective? Um, is someone gonna go through corrective surgery? No, but this yes. Yeah, so I'm a surgeon. Oh! And I correct mistakes that have resulted from surgery. That's right. what I do. That's so. very good. That's just what comes through. Right. So I'm referencing to Basically, someone who would have an open wound, and I'm saying necrotic tissue with breasts in some form of a either bad, you know, like awful plastic surgery. From what I did? No, but from what was done. When this happens, because this particular case has yet to happen, when it does, really kind of assess whether you, you can really do it or not, because it's, it's, it, it's really extreme. There's a lot of scar tissue. It, it looks like this would be very difficult to even stretch. Like, it's kind of a weird thing. It, it just doesn't feel like this could work. So that's good to keep in mind, but... So you're saying don't do it? I would say don't do it when you're faced with this particular case. You mean this Tuesday's case I shouldn't be doing? Oh, God, okay. That's this Tuesday's case? Yes. It's a very high-risk breast problem with skin that's very... That, that was damaged as a result of infection and skin death. Is it an open wound? It was an open wound. Okay. It's not a guaranteed failure. It's not a guaranteed failure, it's just the odds are kind of against you. This is what I was He's saying. gonna call you and say, I told you so. <laughs> right. I will tell you, the surgery is so difficult, the odds are always against right. us. Sure, I bet. I, I, there's still hope, but there is reference to two additional surgeries, so. Um, that might not be a bad thing. It could mean that one gets done and then we need another. Cancel yes. the case. Yeah. yeah. Tyler's intuition is so accurate. I know he's got such a, a really strong medical intuition ability that maybe I'll put him in a pair of scrubs, a gown, and a mask and bring him in the operating room. Um, who's Elaine? That's his fiance. Okay. You're good. Thank you. The way that this comes across is that he's referencing um, to the month of October. He's talking about showing balloons, which is usually an indication of like a birthday or anniversary of some sort. But there's referencing to a birthday in the month of October. Well, actually, birthday or death day, October. No, he's referencing to July and October. Can we call my mom when you do this? <laughs> yeah, sure. Do you mind? Because this is like, she would die right now. Oh, absolutely, sure. Not like die, die. Not literally, but, but if she did, I could connect. This is so weird. Oh my God, freaking out. All right, cool. Hopefully she's open to this. Oh, she sees a medium like every month. Oh, cool. Trying to connect with him and she has it. Oh. Yeah. I'm excited, okay. Mom! <laughs> I'm with Tyler, he's a medium, and the first yeah. person that came through was Uncle Ben. Oh, really? You're gonna die. <laughs> All right, so yeah. tell, tell her everything that you said. Hi. Hi, Tyler, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As I was kind of connecting to Nicole's energy, um, a man came actually through for you and also for her. And he was joking about a mustache or referencing to a mustache that he would have had for a very long period of time. And now people used to always tell him to shave it. And he came across with the name Elaine or a reference to Elaine. Oh um, my God, you're he, kidding. So one of the things I also want to ask if this makes sense is there's actually a significance um, 
on, a, on actually the reference to October and July. So do you know of any significant uh, time frames for this? Oh, yes, absolutely. His birthday is July 27th, and he passed on October 6th. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's definitely his way of coming through. I want you to know that in the way that he comes through, he's completely at peace, he's perfectly fine. And we actually just started this reading, so a lot more is gonna come through. And, oh my um, God, amazing, yeah. great. Awesome, awesome. Great, Tyler, thank you so much. You're so welcome, thank you. It's <laughs> incredible. All right, love you, bye. Love you too, bye. It was very emotional for me because I see him in my dreams and he doesn't speak. So now the fact that I have this communication and my uncle's talking to me, Dude, I'm like a ball of tears. Like, it's it feels like I'm actually talking to my uncle again, and it's just a relief to know that, you know, he is there. Like, when I do feel him, that's him. Now, his, is his dad also Ben? Yes! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> They're together. You're so weird. <laughs> I know, I get that a lot. That's so cool. Thank you. No, it's a good thing. There's definitely the connection, so please know that they're both together. They're both together? They sure are. Oh my god. Yes, it's awesome. Amazing. I mean, I already believed it, but the fact that he said things that I didn't even think he would say, it's insane. And now I just, I feel like me and my family are very protected because we have spirits around us and the spirits are relatives. This might not make any sense to you. There's a reference to Dominic, um, but I don't know if I go by Dominic. It looks like someone had the name Dominic or a connection to Dominic, but doesn't go by Dominic. Like... My uncle's name is Dominic, but we called him Danny. Okay. And then was that name passed on? To my son, okay, his yes. middle name. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> that's so his middle that's name. The and uh, Lorenzo Dominic Laval. Nice. So that would be. So his he way knows of we named. Absolutely, cool. and that was important to him. It's really interesting because he himself will grow to be very, very intuitive as well. Oh my God! It's interesting because he actually, yes. he, if anyone in your family is really going to see your loved ones that have passed away, it's him. So he's stop, stop it, stop Because he's stop. actually already seen them. So good stop. to keep him. <laughs> yeah, he does. Like the. F Moving. Right, I'm like, like six cents. Exactly, like the soundtrack. Oh my is god, curing. stop. Yeah. Is that creepy at all? Like, no. should I be scared? I wouldn't, I mean, they're not gonna eat you, so it's, you're fine. Like, it's, Demons? No, no, nothing to worry about there. Okay. Yeah, now you're good to go. But I wanna tell you, you're not done having kids. We have a couple different things, but you definitely are gonna have more kids. So we'll see. No, 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 no. No. But you'll okay. have another little boy. A boy? Yes. I want two more boys. No yeah. more girls. Yeah, girls. They're gonna be sluts, I know it. <laughs> two more boys. <laughs> So, do you have any questions about your personal life or any areas that I could answer? Do you believe in aliens? I do believe in aliens. Um, do you think they're here? I don't know, maybe they are. Mm -hmm. I've had a few exes that could qualify. <laughs> do you believe in demons? Um, not in the traditional sense, no. Not like, the like exorcism? Not like the religious sense, not so much. Like I believe in negative energy, not in anything inherently demonic, I guess. Don't you think if there's a heaven, there's gotta be a hell? I truly don't know. I mean, for someone who does what you think I'd know, but I, I don't. I definitely know we go somewhere, which is a matter of where. <laughs> yeah, because you talk to them. Yeah, but as far as where they are, it's kind of like describing a color you've never seen. Right. Try imagining a color that doesn't exist mm -hmm. or that you've never seen. It's, you right. can't do it. So when they try to describe things, it's like they're trying to describe to me something I've never seen, and I have no point of reference to kind of describe. But there's certainly a something. Right. <laughs> Nicole was really forthright about her responses. She provided immediate validation in her own unique way. I think I provided a lot of comfort and a lot of knowledge so that she knows that at the end of the day, there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, thank you so much. That was so, so much. cool. I'm so glad. You're the best. You're awesome. Honestly, you're so thank cool. Thank you Definitely going to call you. Yes, absolutely, please. Yeah, I'm yeah. freaking out. I'm so impressed, and I definitely, definitely, definitely want to see Tyler again because I love the 